Hey there everyone, what's going on? It's Brian from Navi Upgrade, and today I've got a quick tutorial on how you can update your Sync 2 uh, display and APIM module, and also get set up with built-in navigation using this little SD card. For this, what we're going to use is we're going to use a 32 gigabyte flash drive, and we're also going to use a Windows computer, a Forescan, an OBD adapter, and of course this little SD card so that you can load maps up to your sync too. So let's get right on into this. I already have my flash drive connected to my computer and I already have the file downloaded. Everything that you need will be in the description below. And while you're there, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right on into this. All right. All right. So what you can see here is we have our downloads open with this file right here. It's called EA5T-14D544-BA. We're just going to extract this and we're good here and you're going to get all these files right here. We're just going to control C or copy them right there and then we're going to check out our uh, random flash drive right here that we're going to format and what we're going to do is we're going to format this to XFAT and we're also going to call this sync to update. Uh, and we can just do a quick format. And we're going to click OK. OK. And now what we can do is we can close this and we can go into our sync to update USB. And what we're going to do is we're just going to control V and paste those files onto our USB thumb drive. This should take only about 30 seconds if you're on a quick computer and your thumb drive is USB 3.0. All right, now we're just going to uh, eject this drive by clicking away and clicking eject up here and we can remove the thumb drive. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our USB and we're going to plug it into our sync to module and now we just wait for it to update. As you can see, it's going to go to install apps and it's going to say installing file and it's going to say this update may take up to 30 minutes to complete. Please keep your vehicle running uh, and not in accessory mode throughout the installation. So what you can do actually instead of uh, being, you know, leaving the car running is you can actually put your car on a charger. That way your battery doesn't die during this process. If you don't have a charger, you don't have a garage to do it in, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go for a drive or something while this happens. So uh, yeah, now we just wait. And it will reboot a few times during this process. Pretty lucky to have a bench tester here because otherwise uh, I'd be sitting in a car, which I like doing, but it's not my favorite, especially just with a boring update, you know? So sometimes it might turn all the way off. So let's turn this back on. And now it's gonna update the sync image some more as that's what it says right there. And we're just gonna let it do its thing for a little bit. I'm just gonna take a seat back here. So, uh, like I said before, it will um, reboot here and there, so it's not a big deal. If this goes on for much more... There we go! Cool. Yeah, we're good. And it looks like we have another system restart with some more files being installed. So gonna rock some more again. All right. Hold up. Let me turn all that focus back on here. All right. So um, what it says is you have successfully updated your sync software to Gen 2 v3.7. Well, that's weird because I downloaded 
Okay, let's see. Huh? Oh! It's still updating. Never mind. Alright, let's get back in. Ah! Installation complete. System information. Oh! CCPU software version is 3.10. Cool. All right, we did update. All right, that's good. So um, pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to enable... Um, we're going to enable navigation inside uh, Forescan. All right, so uh, what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, Forescan, and uh, we are connected to our vehicle already. So what we're going to do, this is uh, the screen you'll be on once you connect to your vehicle. You can go down to this where it says configuration and programming and you can hit the play button you can click OK and what I need you to do is I need you to hit uh, the number four here and we're going to change the second digit of the second line of uh, the first set of blocks to a four and that's going to turn on our navigation. We can just hit right Gonna click yes and we're going to see sync reboot down here so sync's rebooting you can do this all in your car now there's just one more thing that we need to do to get maps to work on our sync 2 display so let's do that real quick we're going to go back on our computer and we're going to grab our usb flash drive and we're going to plug it in to our computer and we're going to download a file called navpatch.png and what this is going to do is this is going to kind of hack in our maps so that the SD card works with our uh, Sync 2 that wasn't meant to have maps. So uh, you can find the link to that file in the description as well. Uh, and let's jump right on in here. So what we have here is we have the Sync 2 update USB we just made and installed to our Sync 2. And I'm just going to delete it. There's no, no point in having anything here. So we just click yes. Delete and uh, we're going to open up our downloads where we have navipatch.png and we're just going to click copy, so control C, and we're going to put it into the root of this drive by uh, control V or pasting it with the paste menu. And now we can remove this from our computer. I'm just going to click eject here and remove the USB drive, and we're going to go back to our camera here and what we need to do is we need to go to settings and we need to go to display and we need to go to edit wallpaper and what we're going to do here is we are going to click add and actually you know what we're going to plug in our device first all right our device is plugged in and we're going to click add and there we go. We're going to USB 1, navipatch.png, and it says navipatch.png has been saved to sync. And now what we need to do is we need to go and we need to click navipatch. And what we need to do is we need to hit the, just hit it just like that. Tap it. And it's going to say, navi unlocked. Navi unlocked. And that means that uh, navigation should be unlocked on your device. So now, the last step is obviously we need to perform a master reset. So we're going to remove our USB uh, drive here. We're going to go back on here. And we are going to go to settings. And we're going to go to system. And we're going to scroll to the bottom here. And we're going to go master reset. Uh, we're going to click yes. Just like that. Uh, all data will be erased. Continue. Yes. All right. All right. Now, we let it do its thing, and we'll have nav. So uh, I'm actually not going to have nav nav on this module. And the reason for that is because I don't have a GPSM a global positioning system module built in to my desk setup here. So it would be trying to read satellites and I don't have any satellites for it to read because I don't even have a module for it to read satellites with. So, um, yeah, this is all that you need to do to really get uh, navigation working on your Sync 2 display. 
all right, one more thing is that uh, we've rebooted it. And what we can see here is that uh, it says, please insert a valid SD card or use turn by turn directions from sync services. So uh, we could just do SD nav and it's going to say insert uh, nav SD card. Unfortunately, I think there's something wrong with my hub or something here because it's just not working. But as you can see, it says insert nav SD card, which means this would be working if um, if I if I had this in a, in a in a proper vehicle without being on a bench tester. So you can obviously do this to your car. Super easy. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if this really helped you out, consider subscribing to the channel because I'm always posting really awesome new Ford Sync content and uh, just stuff that you can do to your Ford vehicle. So really excited to get this done. Been meaning to make this video for a long time. But until the next one, take care.